Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Judy with Judy P's Crafty Journeys. I am bringing to you a flip through of my latest journal that I just finished. Uh, it probably took me months and months to do because I kind of keep uh, getting off on these tangents of uh, getting into painting and making other things and so <laughs> I just now finished it uh, today and uh and getting ready to finish another journal I'm doing for a design team. But this is my latest. This is my vamp, my vampire uh, journal that I've done. I'm not for sure how many pages it is. I forgot to count, but I will put it uh, below in the uh, below here for you. And then also I wanted to let you know that the digital uh, kit that I used is from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. And I will link her below as well. Um... So let's go ahead and dig into it. Now what I did is I um, have two straps tied to it to hold it shut because it's very chunky. Um, and the reason I did it this way is because I didn't want to cover up my letters and I didn't want to cover up my picture. And it kind of reminded me of olden days when like kids used to carry their books with straps. Um, so I thought it kind of made it look a little more older. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And so let's go ahead and dig into it. Just go ahead and get rid of the straps but yeah it's a it's a chunky thing i always put a lot of ephemera in it and uh that's what does it so uh anyway here's the front of it and i show you the spine of it and then the back of it so there's that and let me go ahead and do a flip through of it real quick um hopefully you'll be able to see it all so there's the inside of it um, and I did some uh, stenciling and this is part of her digital kit right here and I'll just do this a little bit because I can't see if you're for sure see it or not um, this is part of her kit right here and then right here is a pocket that I made um, it's got a tag in it And then here's another pocket that I made. Um, a lot of these tags are black or red on the back, so I am going to be enclosing either a silver or gold pen. Uh, whichever the person wants that does end up purchasing this, I will be putting it up in my uh, Etsy store tomorrow. Here's Elsie's digital right here. Um, right here, I put the pocket in this way. Um, because I didn't want things to fall out. Um, so you pull this tag out and it's really easy to do. And you can journal on the back of it. You probably could fit a few more things in there. And it's got a nice little, uh, where you can pull the card out. And then you've got plenty of journaling space right here. Um, on this side we have our uh, double... Uh, snake ribbon and that is uh, I guess you'd say it is a double uh, belly band an X belly band and inside it we have a it's a bag that's got a heart uh, decoration in it I've sewn I did a lot of sewing in this journal uh, that's part of our kit right there um, and then we've got plenty of pages that you can sit there and you can journal in on that then in the back there's these other journaling tags that's been distressed, and there's a bald pin holding them, uh, holding them together. And then they just slide back in here. Okay, so I'll slide that in there. Oops. There we go. Alrighty. And more of Elsie's digital kit. Here is one of my favorite uh, pages, an upside down tuck spot. And I say upside down because there's a bat in it and they like to hang upside down. And I think my bat is super cute, guys. See him? Isn't he cute? So a journaling tag right there. And just slides right back up in there. So he can hang back upside down. We've got a little rosette here with a key. Um, here is a page that I did um, with a uh, 
embossing folder that I had, like a stone wall, and then right here, this opens up, and you can do some journaling there. Um, right here, this is a notebook right here that you can do some journaling in. I have some parchment, gray parchment paper in there, and then right here is a uh, tuck spot or pocket, whatever you want to say. And right here is part of Elsie's digital kit again. And I've just got some papers in there that you can do some journaling on. And this is part of her uh, kit right here as well. And then we've got a page right here that you can journal on. Excuse me, hit the camera. And there, and then on this page right here, we've got some embellishments right here. All right, so that's the first signature. All right, and then the uh, second signature right here is another part of Elsie's Digital right here. And when you flip this over, this has some tan parchment paper in it. It's been distressed. So there's a little notebook there. All right. Um, this is another part of Elsie's digital kit right here. I've got ribbon sewn on there. So there's a lot of uh, sewing and ribbon on here, uh, mainly on the top and bottom of the pages. Right here is a pocket. This pulls out this way. And this is part of her um, digital kit. And this is just a little notebook that you can uh, write in as well and journal. This uh, journal has lots of room for plenty of journaling. And that slides back in there. And I did embossing here and such. Um, and uh, this page was part of her digital kit as well. Um, here I did a tag. And you can write back there with a pocket. I did some stenciling. Here's another page of her um, kit right there. And I did a little bit of embellishments there. A lot of tattered angels as well throughout. Um, and then this part right here, this and this is actually um, wax paper that's been decoupaged on there uh, with some decorative washi. And uh, this is what I got from Lisa McCarthy with Body, Mind, Spirit Store. Um, and then we have a vellum envelope right here, and inside that is a postcard that you can journal on, and it's of gargoyles. So it's be good luck, kind of garden their castle. Get it back in there. I always try to be so careful. I hate doing these flip throughs because, you know, journals are paper, and <laughs> paper is fragile, so I don't want to mess it up. Uh, here is a pocket that I made that I embellished, and this is uh, another tag that I did. All right, and so that just slides back in there. I got a little bit of lace that hangs over. Um, then over here... I have a picture of a castle. I did a journaling tag that I made. So that's pretty cool. And another page that I did some tattered angels and some ribbon and sewing and a little bit of the ephemera kit. And then I took this piece of black leaf lace and made it to look like the, you know, the leaves on it only instead of green, they're black. Um, another piece of the digital paper. Here's some more stenciling, another pocket that I made, and another tag that I made that's kind of got like a mirrored reflection in the background of it. So you can journal on it. And there's that side. And then here um, on this page, I did this. I embossed this, and then I also had gold foil over it as well. Um, here is a rose that I had out of her digital kit, and I backed it with... Um, some cardstock so you can do some journaling um and then well actually it wasn't even cardstock this was actually some cardboard so on one side it was black one side it was white so i put the black right here and the flower on it and i decoupaged it and i uh, decoupaged this uh, red sheer fabric over it and i sprayed it and i've got some ribbon so i made that up there that can go there and you can move this stuff around how you want and some more journaling spot there with her digital Elsie's 
And then here, um, nice little coffin seat. And right here is another notebook for you to use. Love Never Dies, Bram Stoker's Dracula. So there's some pages in there for you to be able to do some journaling as well. Two, three, there's four. And then you go, have the front and back covers. So, and that just fits right back in there. And then we've got the third signature, and here is some embossing and uh, distressing and such I did um, right here. And I also did, I made this tag, and this tag is actually out of an envelope, and I forgot all about it being an envelope, so when I went to go to make this, I didn't have a tag for it, so I will throw one in there because I forgot that you can actually put something in there, or I'll throw a sheet of paper or something in there. So... <laughs> And you can probably fit more stuff right in here too. But like I said, be careful because it's paper. You know, you got to just be really gentle with these things. And another piece of Elsie's digital as well. She's got fabulous digitals. Uh, very detailed and bright and vivid colors. Um, here I did some stamping. And here I've got... Uh, these doilies that I cut out the middle of them and I've got these two pieces of paper that you can do some journaling on and around there. Um, these are some rub-ons and then over here this is just decorative right here. Um, you can journal here and here and these right here are velvet paper medallions and then when you turn here this is some uh, uh, some uh, decoupage paper from Tim Holtz and I made a belly band there with some white ro uh, rose lace and here we have a journaling card I can get it back in there <laughs> all right and we also have some more uh, parchment paper right here that's been punched and distressed and some more uh, tattered angels so as you can see there is tons and tons of journaling space um, here is the other side of the Tim Holtz where I decoupaged that on there and the velvet medallions I embossed um, this paper right or this uh, uh, folder stuff that I had and I made it into a tuck spot and again here's another gargoyle um, journaling card or journaling postcard I should say um, I found these actually at an antique mall. This one's from 1997. But anyway, so I included some of those in there because they are supposed to be watchful and good luck over their vampire in his uh, lady's castle. Um, right here is another page to uh, do some uh, uh, writing on, journaling. And then here I did a stamp. Um, here I did a stamp again. Um, here is another part of the kit. Just simply gorgeous, guys. And here I did some uh, stamping, more journaling. Here is this good-looking vampire guy that turned her. So, um, that's him. And he's pretty handsome, isn't he? So anyway, and then right here I did a um, vellum, a printed rose, gold rose vellum paper that I had. And I made that into a belly band. Did some sewing. I've got a rose there. This is actually a bookmark that comes out of here. And you can journal on it. It is black on the back. But this literally comes out for you to journal on or use it as a bookmark or you can leave it in there. Uh, but this is actually uh, put onto this package right here that I had. So she doesn't come off, just the journaling card comes out. And now if I can get it back in. There we go. So you can do this however you want to do it. And then at the bottom I just have some uh, decorative, uh, uh, piece of decorative fabric that I had gotten. Uh, from 
a thing of uh, boho uh, fab textiles that I got from Sheila Gingrich. So I used that. That was really pretty. I love using those bits that I have from her. Um, and then on the other side is the other uh, part of the uh, vellum, printed vellum. And here we've got a journaling card. And right here we have a piece of paper that you can journal on. All right. And then the last signature right here. All right. have some nice pretty embellishments right here. Um, and this is an embossed uh, tuck spot, a vellum envelope. And inside, which it is Velcro here, there is an embossed card for journaling. So that goes like that tucks in there. Um, here is another uh, part of Elsie's kit. And right here is some tags that I have clipped to a uh, paper clip. And you can journal on the back of those. When you're done journaling on those, you can put them in this. This is a belly band. More journaling. More of Elsie's digital. And then we've got some more journaling spots with some of my stenciling. And then we also have um, some more of the um, punched on the corners and distressed of the gray uh, parchment paper that I've got. And right there and there. Um, right here, I embossed this. This is part of Elsie's kit. This is actually a double tuck pocket. So this right here is a journaling tag with a decorative brad that I made and I sewed and it goes right there. Um, now that's part of Elsie's kit right there. That's attached. That's the, one of the part of the divider. And then on the other side I have what could be another bookmark and or a uh, journaling card or both, obviously. Um, I can't remember what I did with this. I think I took I don't know if I took wax paper and then I distressed it and embossed it and put glitter and stuff on I mean, I did all kinds of stuff to this thing right here to make it all layered up and everything. I just can't remember what I did now. Um, so that's going to go in the back right here. So I've got that there. And more stenciling. Here is the other side of Elsie's kit. And some more parchment. Oh, no, that's not parchment. That's another piece right there of paper. Um, just black. And then uh, more little white paper. Now, this is the other side with the belly band. And this comes out. And this card right here, you can journal back here. This has a little tag that comes out here that's part of Elsie's kit. And this is part of Elsie's kit. And uh, so you can tuck that in there. And then in the back of here, there is another tuck spot. And another journaling card that I made. And so that goes in there. And then back into here. And this is like some white uh, crepe paper. And then here is where the lady is fully turned in the end. And that's Elsie's Digital. And then here I got some more embellishments. Another embossed spot right here, tuck spot, with another vellum envelope. Once again, Velcroed. Another journaling card in it. Um, it says, if you wish to be loved, love. I embossed it as well. So you have that. Turn it this way. So that you can see the front of it through that envelope and it just tucks right there and then there is the back page and then the other part of the cover right there i did this stenciling right here and distressing and such so yeah that is it guys that is my vampire journal i hope you enjoyed it um i had a lot of fun making it it just took me a while because uh like i said i've been kind of squirreling and going all over the place, doing other kinds of crafts as well. I just, I just love it. And, uh, of course we've had a lot of time on our hands. So, you know, 
Um, and so now off, I'm off to do a uh, journal for the design team that I am on um, that I need to finish by the end of April. So anyway, um, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe and ring the bell. I would love to have you on board. Uh, I would truly appreciate it. And to all of my new subscribers and all of my old subscribers, I love each and every one of you guys. Um, stay safe, happy crafting, and I will see you um, the next time I do a video. All right, guys, um, come check this out. It, if you're interested, it'll be in my Etsy store. If not, that's fine. I just really appreciate you guys watching and joining me and um, just sharing in what I created. And uh, hopefully I inspired you a bit. All right, guys, don't forget life's a journey and not a destination. Till next time, guys. Bye.